In this video on Skull and Bones, I'm gonna tell you what happens when you sink and what you should do when you do sink in the game. Thanks to Ubisoft for providing me with access to this game. Now, during most of the early game, you probably will not actually sink at all because the game can be quite easy. But as you get towards the later parts of the game, it's very easy to accidentally get yourself sunk. So the first thing you should know about sinking is that you do lose cargo. Your cargo drops in the water where you sink, which is a huge mechanic in this game because imagine you have a lot of stuff and suddenly you sink and everything stays out in the open world, which other players can collect. So be very careful with sinking. If I go ahead and open up my inventory here, you won't actually lose everything. I do know the food is going to drop. I know that specialized materials, commodities, and flawed materials, anything that is like a material will drop on your sinking, but you will keep things like your repair kits, your ammunition, you do keep your treasure maps, I think, and you also keep the mending kit. So anything that you actually use in combat, you at least get to keep. Anything else that you use, well, you know, like food and stuff that you can sell and use is going to drop for other players to steal, I guess, unless you get there first. So let me go ahead and sink myself quick and show you what the process of sinking actually looks like so you're aware of it. So I'm just gonna get this guy to sink me quick. Can you sink me, sir? He's finally shooting at me. This might take a while. And now we're about to sink. You can see, kaboom, and we go down. This is what happens. You sink, your ship gets exploded, your cargo gets dropped off in the water, and if other players are nearby, they can go ahead and like, you know, just loot your stuff before you do. You do get an option of spawning back in. There's two options, right? So first of all, it tells you what you sunk by, what well, who killed you, you know, the NPC. And you'll see there's two options here. Respawn at sea, which is going to repair your ship and allow you to return to action for a much higher silver price. So you can see it's going to be 328 silver. It will actually spawn me like really close to where it just was. Or you have the option of going back to the dock, which is going to return you to the closest den in the game, which can be very, very, very far away from where you sank. So if you had a lot of stuff and you don't want to lose that stuff, potentially, you're going to want to rather respawn at sea and use this option. But if you didn't have that much and you just want to get back to a den, you can actually go to the right hand side instead. So let me go ahead and respawn at sea. Now this will respawn me pretty much where I, I left off, right? If I open up my map, you will see there is now an icon on the map here. It says your shipwreck. It will be in yellow. This is where I sunk. When other players see this, it's actually like, I think it's like a white and black icon. Um, nobody is sunk right now, so I can't really, uh, you know, show you, unfortunately. But this is what it looks like. You can go ahead and mark it. You can see I'm 500 meters away and I'm getting shot by something. But you see, once I get closer, I can go ahead and find my loot in the water here and I can go ahead and pick up all 13 items of it, including the treasure map, all my food, all my you know, materials and everything that I was using. But you will notice because we return to sea, our health bar now has a red section that is cordoned off that we cannot use. You can see that's like the last 25% of our health is inaccessible. To fix this, you will need to go to a den and repair your ship. A den much like uh, the one at to look Penjara or Saint Anne, which you're so used to. It's the yellow icon that looks like this on the map. We're gonna go ahead and go there and I'm gonna show you how to repair your ship. So once you get near the den, you're gonna go ahead and use the disembark option. And as soon as you spawn on the den, you can just go ahead and turn around, go back to the set sail option right here. We're gonna go press embark and you'll see there is a repair option that will allow you to repair the damage of your ship for a silver amount. You can see the ship health at the top left of the screen. When we pay this 108 uh, silver, Boom, it's repaired. The ship health is now full. And that's how you basically fix your ship. I do recommend storing your cargo by doing the manage cargo option here and always going ahead and putting the everything after your ammunition right over here like this into your warehouse so that you don't lose this on the sea. You know, like all these different random things over here. You will have to keep your treasure maps as well as the mending kit. So essentially all you want to keep on your ship is food that you want to eat, ammunition that you need to use for your cannons, and weapons and repairing and mending kits to you know heal and then treasure maps which i don't even think you can move to the warehouse so this is essentially what you should keep on your ship anytime you have any of the other items you're going to want to go ahead and store them in your warehouse because they also take up weight on your ship too i hope you found this guide helpful and thank you so much for watching